Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Kind Spirit Text. So now I'm going to teach you how to draw your text following a path or following a line. And I'm going to show you two methods. And for first method, we need two additional packages. So use Tixi library. And first what we need is decorations text and second decorations path morphing and now let's say line width is going to be 0 0.5 millimeters and first coordinate is going to be 0 comma 0 line towards 10 comma 3 don't forget semicolon save it and we have our line here so now in order to create text that is going to follow this line we have to provide few more arguments so first I'm going to provide decoration but not decorations it's decoration open squirrely brackets and the first argument in here is going to be text along path comma now provide actual text that should be printed like this comma and text alignment text align is going to be center and now after this decoration part comma and decorate like this save it okay what's wrong ah yes text equals and then text save it again yes this is our result and what else you could do you could actually create text that is going to uh, follow some curve how to do that so instead of having a line we are going to type control controls and we are going to set control on 5 comma 5 and let's say 3 comma 7 like this don't worry for this part i'm going to explain that uh, in another episode save it and you see we have some curve and our text is following that curve so that's one method and now i'm going to show you another method in which we are going to use notes again with half of a millimeter and now first coordinate is going to be 0 comma 0 second coordinate is going to be sorry second coordinate is going to be 12 comma 3 semicolon save it and we have another line and now let me create node at this point call it a and node at this point call it b save it and now i'm just going to uh, anchor these uh, two nodes left and right save it and i'm going to create some more space with outer sep equals 0 0.3 or just three millimeters here too
okay save it and now what if we want to uh, put some uh, node in between but we want to be at a special position how to do that now after this code is done but uh, before our semicolon so our command it's not yet over uh, i am going to create another node just node without coordinates is going to be below author sep sep is going to be let's say one centimeter and with this command pause means position you are going to determine uh, exact position along the line for your node so if i type something like 0 0.25 what this actually means means that my node is going to be uh, printed at uh, 25 uh, percent uh, from the beginning of this line so i'm just going to say that this is going to be node c save it and you see we have our node c and i'm not going to make uh, such a big distance let's say one millimeter is going to be fine save it again okay this is much better and let's create two more so just copy like this c d and e and uh, this one is going to be above and one millimeter that's fine so 0 0.5 and 0 0.75 save it okay ah yes it's typo it's not w no in here <laughs> save it again yeah this is much better and you see, same as in previous case, we are not uh, limited uh, on uh, straight lines if we want to use this method. I'm going to create curve in here in order to show you how that looks. Once again, controls. And let's say 5,5. Save it. Oh yes, we need another two dots at the end. Save it again. And okay. Uh, you see that our nodes are uh, following the exact same pattern. We have C at uh, 25%. We have D in the middle and uh, E on 75%. So guys, this is all for this episode. I truly hope that you like this content. So uh, please like, subscribe and see ya.